this is uh so i wanted it, this to lead into a bigger conversation that i think i want to finally have with you which is um the dc versus marvel conversation okay that i have been putting off for a while because i don't think i fully understood my stance until i started you, watching you are aware of mine or you have been aware of mine like what you prefer yes Yes, but I, I think it's super well known. I want to take this, this in a different direction okay. than what I think you're probably going to say. And this came from watching Titans and Doom Patrol. Okay. Oh, and Doom Patrol. Yeah. Okay. I'm watching Titans and Doom Patrol on HBO. Do, 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 yeah. Do, do, do. I love it. <laughs> the, yeah. Yeah. The oh, lightning. my. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I. I'm having probably one of the best times in my Again, life. Again, we have not talked about I Doom know. Patrol, and I'm dying to talk about it because I, I have a big take on it later. I finished episode six. Big take on it later. So I do want to review probably all of it. Yeah, yeah. It's not. I know it's not popular. I know that like not a lot of people really get mm-hmm. deep into it, and I was actually not planning to watch Doom Patrol at all until you told me it was good. Not, neither was I. Yeah, I, I had I no idea. I had zero interest. It, it actually so kind of repulsed me by looking at the poster. Yeah, but yeah. it's so good. It is so good. Oh, it's so good! <laughs> I cannot believe I it. was addicted There's no to reason Doom that that show should be good. No. There's it's, no reason. Oh, it's disgusting, quite It is frankly. like when people are... Yeah, but when, when, when people talk about... Um, Guardians of the Galaxy, and they're like, mm-hmm. "Oh my gosh, they got a tree, and they got a, a raccoon, yeah, and a and they made it work." And I'm like, "Okay, yeah, <laughs> Doom Patrol is that on steroids?" Yeah, they take- hey, you want to see a blob of human skin and organs and love her to death yes. and, and just, just find love her, her just. Well, love to have tea fantastic. with with Rita. Love to have tea with her. So here's where so. So it was the Suicide Squad. It was Titans. It was Doom Patrol. Because I, so I'm gonna mention. So I, so I saw so, like all of these in a row, right? Okay. These are all very R-rated. Yeah. Uh, visual media. Mm-hmm. The Suicide Squad, super R-rated. Gory. Titans, right off the bat. Yeah. R-rated, super gory. They cuss. There's nudity mm. in Titans. Yeah. I was surprised. In the Teen Titans, yeah. they had to scratch the name Teen Titans. Yes. Because, because these are a group of nothing teen young about adults. There, I was shocked. Drugs, nudity, violence, violence. all of it. Yeah. Language, right? Just across the board. Doom Patrol, Titans on steroids. Yo, Doom Patrol is... Titans whoa. on steroids. I was like... I looked down a few times in Doom Patrol, and you'll Unbelievable. if you just finished episode six. Yeah, there are some times I was like, Ooh, yeah, it was like, right. oh my god! It's, and I then I'm like, it. and then I can hear it. I'm like, it's still going. It's still <laughs> happening. It wasn't a flash. That see, that oh, thing yeah. is still Dude, going on. Sound though, mm-hmm. and then, again, I'm just the the story, the acting, the effects, just. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so, so good. good. It's but, so good. Okay, so this is what I'm getting at. Okay. This is what I'm getting at. All right. It's a very long journey to get to the point that I'm trying to make. Okay. DC and Marvel, okay, are two different companies that mm-hmm. decided to write comic books. And have okay? been around for a been very, around for long, very time. long time. There are many companies that write that write comic oh, yeah. books, right? I'll, many I'll, companies. Also very the, important. These are these are two big players in the comic book mm-hmm. world. Okay. They make char- they make they both make superhero characters. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I think that is the reason why people like to compare them. Yeah. Because they are and I and I get it. Because visually you're like they should be compared. Mm-hmm. Right? They should be. It's it's an Android iPhone conversation that we, yes, we that's have the to only have. Way I, I can compare it or and have I'm, other pe- regular people understand. And I'm here to tell you that I think that's wrong. Okay. I'm here to say that DC and Marvel should not even be on the same damn bookshelf. I do not think they are the same at all. Okay. At all. I don't think they're trying to do the same things. 
I don't think they're trying to tell the same stories. I don't think maybe when they first started as comic book companies, okay, yeah. they go way back. Okay. 38, 30, 1938, 39, yeah. 40, 41. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're talking 80 plus years or mm -hmm. something, right? 85 years or more. Yeah, because they're doing a couple of anniversaries in 2025. Okay, they're so yeah. So then there you go. So I get it. I get the desire to compare these things because they're the same. But that's like saying, you. that's like you're going into a bookstore, right? And you're like, hey, I'm going to compare this recipe book to this sci-fi book mm -hmm. because they're both books, right? Mm -hmm. So people are like, but they're books, yeah. but they're both words on a page mm -hmm. that are saying something to me. So we should compare them. Okay. We feel like we have to compare DC and Marvel because they're both books which I hate doing. that have words on them that are telling mm -hmm. stories. And I get it. People are like, but they're the same genre. So we have to no. these are two different things mm -hmm. enjoy them both yeah they both serve a purpose they're doing different things mm -hmm. okay dc is not for the same i i would argue if you enjoy marvel you could probably cross over into dc good but it's not the same thing people want to compare it mm -hmm. but they live on their own and you can enjoy them both i do different times in your lives i do you watch yes. the titans for very different reasons than you watch Shang Chi. Yes. Very different reasons. Yes. You watch Shang Chi during the day and you watch Titans at night. night. Yeah. <laughs> it's they're just you have soda and popcorn with yeah. one and whiskey and a cigar yeah. with another. Like exactly. Yes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's a, a great example mm -hmm. when you're watching these visual mediums, right? Mm -hmm. You you're not in the same mindset. And that's why I think they're so different. That's why I'm saying we don't compare them because you're not even in the same mindset when yeah. you're watching these things. If you're having a soda and popcorn, that's very different than whiskey and cigar. Mm -hmm. But yet people want to compare them. And, I, and I'm here to say, no, we need to stop this DC Marvel debate. And we'll, we can get into Android iPhone in another day. Oh, you want to hear some stuff? <laughs> yeah, we'll do it another day. But I do not believe that we should compare these anymore. Okay. That's my rant. Cool. I'm going to get off my soapbox. Cool. But everyone knows, I think we need to stop it. Put an it. end to it. Put an end Kill to it. this. Put an end. We need to work together. Mm -hmm. Because they both need to exist in our lives for different reasons. Mm -hmm. We need to have soda and popcorn days. But some of us need to go home at night, turn off the lights, Drink some whiskey, smoke a cigar, and watch Titans. Yeah. Okay. And it serves a very different ment part in my mental. And that's totally okay. But people yeah. don't understand that. I know. They don't. People, and again, goes in uh, plenty of other episodes, I've been called a, Mar a Marvel hater. I don't hate Marvel. I yeah. love Marvel. Yeah. But the only, the only way that people my age and people nowadays can compare it is by the movies. Right, that's, that's true. That's the only understanding people have of it. Right. Is Tony Stark, uh, Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. Uh, Chris Evans, Captain America. Yeah. And to me, I don't always do that. I yeah. do it by the comic books. And Titans, I guess now you can only can compare by the show. Yeah. And the show isn't necessarily the Titans that I know. And that's okay. Yeah, yeah. And... Which uh, I like. The Chris Evans Captain America isn't necessarily the Captain America I remember. Because Captain America's also done some bad shit. Yeah. He's also done some things. Again, the MCU doesn't show that. And that's totally okay. Totally fine. Because the MCU is about the family and the this and the kids yep. and the this. And Spider-Man has done some stuff too. Yep. Again, he was a kid. Spider-Man, Peter Parker made some decisions. The MCU doesn't tell you that. But right. they focus on a different side of Peter Parker that... Yeah, very family-friendly. Very family... And that's yeah. awesome. Right. Because Spider-Man, for the most part, is family-friendly. Sure. And, and if and you're right. If if we... if if I'm not saying that that Marvel comics have never gone dark. Right? Like, I can't say that, like, yeah. bad things have never happened in a Marvel comic before. Exactly. But you're, you're absolutely right. Most of the time, people are thinking MCU and versus are MCU DCU. Better than the DCEU movies? DCEU. Yeah, they are better. Yeah. 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 I but personally I like 
DC characters significantly more. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I and, agree. And, and that's an unpopular opinion because people are like, well, the movies are better. Right. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's not that's what was awesome. not. But that's not what you said. That's awesome. Yeah. Do I like certain DC villains way better than Mar- Marvel villains? Yes. Yeah. And I could make a comparison right now and nobody would have any idea what I'm talking about. Right. Because I think Sinestro is better than the Mandalorian. Yeah. And they're going to be I, like, who the hell is what? Yeah. What are you and, saying? And most people that are watching I've never all seen, these MCU what movies. What movie is Sinestro in? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And most and most people might not even know who the Mandalorian is. Right, that's true. But that would be something I could tell somebody that wants to talk to me about it and think they know everything. Yeah. And they'd be like, what? And so, right. And, I, and I know what you're fine. saying. And I'm not trying to be better or think I know more. I just have a preference. Yeah. I have something that I like. Yeah, that's I love, fine. I love all the Marvel movies. are all sitting right there on my shelf. Right. And I love the lightheartedness. I love that my nephews can be like, yo, Spider-Man's awesome. Yeah. Captain America's awesome. Kids need superheroes to look up yeah, to. Yeah, absolutely. Don't look up to Batman. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Probably not the best way may, to may, live but your maybe life. maybe don't look up to Deadpool either. Mm-hmm. But again, they made Deadpool a family-friendly, cute, nah, right. nah, 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 Right. Deadpool's a murderer. Yeah. And he's a proud murderer. Wolverine is a murderer. Like, there's things they've you can done pick terrible up out things, of Marvel, yeah. and you can make a super rated R Marvel yeah. movie, yeah, and it would be awesome. Yeah, look at Logan. Logan was Logan was probably one of my favorite, one but, of, one of the best, and he's going through and he's murdering people. And uh, but we should note that Logan and um, Deadpool were made by Fox. That is yeah. not Disney. Again, yeah. So. Disney That's now true. owns Fox, but not at the time that those two movies were made. Correct. And now they're like, let's make a PG-13 Deadpool movie. Right. And I'm like, whoa, so, why? So now they're in a yeah. different arena. And because, I, again, I agree with you. You could say that there's some dark Marvel stuff out there. There is. Mm-hmm. And, again, people are going to be like, I want to I wanna compare. But even Deadpool's cracking jokes the whole time. Yeah. Right? And it is still light, lighthearted. And, and I know that Wolverine has some dark comics. Mm-hmm. Because he has a dark yeah, past, he's... and he's probably probably one of the best, most well thought out uh, Marvel characters yeah. that I think that they've run through. And again, people are gonna be like, "Oh yeah, I haven't seen him much on the screen." Yeah, and be like, "No, that's you, not you what mean I'm talking Hugh about." Jackman, I love Hugh yeah. Jackman. <laughs> like, no, I don't mean Hugh yeah. Jackman. Wolverine, the character, exactly. But I see, I see your point. That that would be a great thing. I would love to stop comparing it. I don't think we. I, yeah, I, I would love no to point. Have... No point. To stop having some of these conversations with people. Because I don't need to lie. You you buy them. I, I don't need to lie. You buy them both. You watch them both. Mm-hmm. You watch them both at different times in your life, depending on your mood. They both serve a purpose. They both help you get through a certain kind of day. But you watch them at different times in your lives to get you through different just times. Like you have different meals. Like, yeah. I don't, I don't, different what, music. Different, thing, different right? coffee. or Like, whatever it is that you do, yes. it's, it's different. Yes. And... Where I am now is I just like the DC stuff more. I like those characters. That's where you are in your life. I'm watching, and you're going an, through an that animated DC show that is extremely graphic. Oh, I gotta it's watch extremely, it. Extremely, yeah. it's just an adult. You can't Harley Quinn. Yes, another very rated R. Oh, another, thing. but it's a cartoon, so someone's gonna be like, "Oh, I'm gonna put my kid on this <laughs> no, show." No, no, no. <laughs> no, I just I Don't saw do a that. whole room of people get their heads exploded. Like, right? It's but it's good. It's very. It's not yeah. supposed. I haven't to seen be. it, but I heard it's very good. It's not supposed to. It's a cartoon. It's not supposed to be vulgar and sexual, and these things aren't supposed to be happening. Right, but they are. But they are, and those topics are. They're making good use of it. I agree. Yeah, then that's and, all that matters. And I love the animated Spider-Man shows because that guy was happy-go-lucky, and he right. had the girl, and he was smart, and he went to college, and he did all the traditional stuff you're supposed to do yeah but you would and watch i love and you watch spider-man both. before school or on a saturday morning saturday morning every right? saturday with a bowl of cereal every saturday that's when you watch it you mm-hmm. watch harley quinn with a beer at night yes like that's but but both animated both animated shows based on i mean one's a villain yeah but still mm-hmm. animated characters animated comic book characters yeah but very different though you don't compare 
the animated Spider-Man show no. to Harley Quinn animated no. show. Because they're not the same. They're not for the same But people, people. want, but you, but... It, and, you, but you'd be like, oh, but I want to because they're both animated comic book characters. And I understand and I, why people are doing it. But and I'm, it's, I'm it's, having, it's in our nature to do I've that. I've had conversations with people for so many years, and it all ends the same way. It's like, oh, well, you're just a hater. You're just a, you're you're just just a, a Marvel hater. hater. You're just a hater. She's like, you know what? I'm not necessarily comparing the movies. I can compare the movies. Yeah, the movies are better. Yeah. To some and degree. That's, right. Not all of them. Yeah, not all of them. And that... and. And that's fine. If somebody wants to go toe to toe with me and say, "Hey, let's compare Justice League to um, Avengers. Avengers," fine. We can mm-hmm. have the comparison of as a movie, as a made movie, yes. which one is better, and we can have that comparison. But I don't want to have this DC versus Marvel no. conversation anymore. If you want to have a Justice League characters versus Avengers characters conversation we can even do that we can too. do that too as long as we know as long as we know the the bounds yes. that we are in but it's right? always going to go back to well the mcu the MCU, and then i'm going to be like MCU, no but that's not but that's the not the conversation we're having exactly like, you, if you put bounds on a conversation we can have a conversation but mm-hmm. don't be like but marvel is better than dc no, we're we're yeah. not even in so, the same so arena we're, anymore now we're having a different conversation yeah it's a totally different conversation and, and it's fun for me and i welcome anyone that wants to have a conversation sure people they're like why do you like dc more if you want to have that conversation with me we can have it yep and if at the end you're like ah, well, i still don't like it that's fine fine cool i will never try to convince you yeah why i like dc better than marvel and that's not anyone's job to do I don't that. Need to do it because I don't care what it you It doesn't think. matter. It doesn't matter. If you go home and think something, I don't care. But if you're but if you're asking me why do you like DC more, just so I can try to convince you to like Marvel more, yeah, then I think we're starting on the wrong foot. Yeah, it's not. Then this conversation is going to go nowhere. Exactly. Right? Yeah, I'm a bigger DC character fan mm-hmm. than any character that exists in Marvel. But yeah. that doesn't mean that I'm a bigger dceu fan than i am an mcu fan exactly right and that doesn't mean that i perf- i always pick a dc movie or comic over a marvel movie or comic and people are just always gonna see it by the movies yeah and that's that's fine but it's like you I, can't I live it. in both worlds and i don't understand that yeah i don't understand why i can't live in both worlds when i, I want I, to i can't i do you and should i'm everybody I'm should s- certainly happy i don't mind being the guy that people like know as liking whatever i'm i don't care yeah because i've had such a good time recently with stuff and there was a point six months ago and i'm like i don't want any superhero this i don't want i'm i remember that i'm i I I don't care anymore i'm gonna watch the classics i'm gonna work on my list and i was done with it and I wasn't done with it because I stopped caring. I was done with it because people were making me angry about it. Yeah. People were making me feel bad about something that I loved so much. And that's awful. And I'm like, why am I skipping out on these things? Right. Yeah. Why am I skipping? Titans? I love the Teen Titans. One yeah. of my favorites. Why am I not watching this show? Right. Again, it was a half and half different reason. I had another reason I, I swore off to never see the show. Right. After seeing the show, I was like, I cannot believe I told myself that. I, yeah. <laughs> Why would I do that? The other reason is people are making me feel bad about being a fan. Like, yeah. Teen Titans. Come on. That's lame. That sucks. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I guess it does suck. So yeah. So, but then, so then you keep your that. mouth shut and you don't say and then, anything. And then I just don't say anything. But yeah. I was purposely avoiding things because I was letting other people control how I felt about something I cared about. Which is Which is awful. awful. But I, I did it to myself. Nobody made me do it. Yeah, no, I'm but... Like, oh, sh- yeah. All right, maybe I should stop, chill out with the superhero stuff. 